Thank you for joining us for our Taste Eat Tuesday with SDHS of Somerset County. I'm Jennifer and a great summer dish that I'm going to show you how to make is a simple three bean salad. Um, now that the weather is getting warmer, we're going to be eating outside, um, hopefully, you know, enjoying barbecues. And this is a great either main dish or side dish um, just with a plant-based protein with extra vegetables. And again, things that I like to make, you can totally change up the ingredients and add different flavor profiles for what you like and what you have on hand. Um, canned beans is a pantry staple, so I always have them on hand. I had chickpeas, black beans, and a can of cannoli beans. Um, I've already rinsed the beans out and drained them and put them in the bowl. Um, you can also use bag beans, but if you use canned beans, make sure you, you rinse them to get all the sodium and the, um, the extra liquid that's, that's in there. So you can see this is nice and colorful. You can certainly use red beans, pinto beans, um, even string beans, because now that vegetables are in season, maybe you have a garden or you get to the farmer's market and the green beans look good, um, just cut them up into bite-sized bits and that would make a really colorful addition to your salad. Okay, um, I also pre-cut up, but I'm so glad I did because I did cry. Um, I didn't want to cry on camera. So I have half of a red onion. You can use shallots, but I like using the red onion because of the, the purple color. And at home I had the rainbow bell peppers. So I grabbed the orange one. I've already pre-washed it. And I'm just going to dice it up. Give it a boost of extra vitamin C, right? But it adds crunch to the salad. Um, it adds crunch, so you can certainly add cucumbers, you could add celery, and depending how much you want to make, you can use half a pepper or a whole pepper. I'm just going to dice them, cut them into strips, and just a dice about this big. Okay, and I'm just going to dump them into the salad. While I'm chopping these, the other ingredient that we're going to add are canned diced tomatoes. I have that with no salt added. If you are buying canned, like I said, try to go for low sodium or no sodium. Um, but again, if you have a garden, you may have cherry tomatoes. Um, they're in season. So you can certainly have or even quarter cherry tomatoes and add that to your bean salad instead of the can. But I like to show how versatile canned beans and vegetables are. Because if you can't get to the store, I know stores have been um, pretty well stocked now, but if you can't get out to the store, um, that is a great pantry staple to have is the canned tomatoes as well. And food pantries are usually stocked with beans and canned tomatoes. They even are stocked with onions. So this is something that you can totally make a delicious, healthy meal from foods from a food pantry as well. So I cut up half the pepper. We'll see, maybe we'll add that later. Um, and I'm going to add my can. I'm not going to drain it. I'm going to use the juice um, right into my bowl. And a half a can, um, a half of red onion. Just going to give this a gentle mix. Uh, the colors look so pretty. I'm glad I went with the orange pepper. Okay, so now for our dressing. The dressing is super simple. Um, it's just equal amounts of red wine vinegar and olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. So I'm going to just use a quarter of a cup. And I love using the mason jars because I could do half and I could save the rest and keep it in the refrigerator for regular salad dressing. So I love that. But if you're not using a mason jar, whoops, you can use a bowl and whisk your dressing together. So that's a quarter cup of red wine vinegar and a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. Then we're going to add some lime juice, but I always don't waste my zest, so I'm going to zest, put some of the zest into the beans. Now, if you like spicy
spicy salad and you have jalapenos on hand, you can definitely dice up some jalapenos, throw them in there. Nice. You can also use corn. Last week I had an extra ear of corn and I did just that. Um, I, made, I made this for our family and I took the extra ear of corn and just took off the kernels and that gave it a lot of color. Okay, just draining my wine. I just love the smell of citrus. And it just freshens up your meal. If you don't have wine, you can certainly use lemons. Okay, so that's all it is. A quarter cup of red wine vinegar, quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, and one lime. All right, and then we're just gonna put the lid on and just give it a good shake. Super quick to make homemade salad dressing. Good morning, Daryl. Some of these little mason jars come in handy. Oh, that looks, that smells so good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just pour on the salad dressing. I'm gonna pour the whole thing because it was only a quarter cup of each. And just gently, gently mix. If you like the flavor of garlic, you can certainly crush up fresh garlic in here. We have the red onion. I am going to put a dash of salt and pepper. Just a little dash. Sometimes I know in my pantry I have flavored salts. You can definitely do that as well. Um, give that a quick stir. Remember we have our zest in here. Oh, this looks so good. Now to top it off, you could use fresh parsley. I love the flavor of cilantro, so I already rinsed off cilantro here. I'm just gonna grab, rip off a bunch. Now cilantro will last a long time. I'm just gonna show you a quick tip. You can put a little water in here and I save the bag. I put the bag on top and leave it right in the refrigerator. Um, and that can last me well over a week um, with different, um, different marinades and things. So I'm just gonna roughly chop up the cilantro to top the bean salad. So like I said, you could use parsley, you can have basil, just whatever pro profile you like. Okay, I am so excited because I have lunch ready-made. Now this is really good chilled, so, and it's, it's a hearty and it will last. So if you are going to a picnic or you're having a few people over for a barbecue, you can make this the night before and then it's all ready and it's gonna be chilled and all the flavors of the cilantro and the peppers and the onions are all going to blend together. So that is what the bean salad looks like. Totally have fun and experiment with all different kinds of beans and all different kinds of flavors, but it's a great, healthy, lean protein, plant-based meal. So I hope you enjoy it, I hope you make it. If you do, come back to the video and comment what kind of bean salad you made, share a photo, and definitely share out our videos because we're gonna be back every Tuesday at noon with a great recipe. Have a great day.